I walk to the back of the shop. I take a left turn. Boom. Right in between two machines. Go to the back wall. Right there, a horrendous smell. This crazy, nasty, rotten smell goes right up my nose. I turn to the left. I look down at the coolant tank. I lift up the panel. I look inside, and you do not even want to know what I saw and what I smelled because it was awful. Usually, there's some oil on top. We have a skimmer. The skimmer is pulling the oil. At this time, I didn't have clear coolant. I didn't have the synergy. I was using regular coolant. And we had tried different coolants. And we were struggling because we had gone from subsea up to aerospace. And we were trying to get our tools to last longer. So we were putting the work in to find the best coolant that we could find. And right now... The coolant that we're using, I'm looking at it, I'm smelling it, I'm in absolute disbelief. How could my guys allow this to happen? I walk up to the operator, you smell that? He's like, I smell it. How come you're not saying something about it? He's like, I have been complaining for days now to my supervisor. At that time, I had a leader in my company that wasn't handling his responsibilities nobody wants to go and clean those coolant tanks nobody wants to go and be the person and it just wasn't happening it wasn't going down so i look at him and he's like yeah and i actually had some sores right here and i'm looking at him in disbelief and i and i apologize to him and i solved that problem there is some nasty things that happen in shops. There's a lot of great shops and great, clean, amazing. You always hear it like, oh, manufacturing is like a doctor's office. You can eat off the floor. But in a lot of shops, there are still a lot of shops that don't have good housekeeping. They're, they're just grinding away and they don't take the time to actually clean their sumps. There's things going in the sumps. Back in the day, I told a story about Mark Blazer getting you know what like yelled at from a customer they tested the coolant that was leaving marks and and on the parts and it ended up being urine it ended up being urine and they scientifically proved it and they found out that the guy on the machine next to the machine in question was coming over and urinating in to the sump because he didn't want to walk down the hallway all the way to this bathroom on the night shift there are some nasty things that go into these coolant tanks and we need to like make sure that our housekeeping is dialed when you look at coolant a lot of people say it smells like rotten eggs you know what that is that's hydrogen sulfide gas and that's highly toxic there's a lot of people that die in the workplace from that gas They'll say, oh, it's like dirty socks. That's fungus growing in your machine. Nasty fungus growing in your machine and growing up the walls. This is no joke, and it, we need to take it absolutely serious. And there's a lot of things that we can do to solve these problems. If you have a saw and, and coolant is just there and it's stinking up, there's a lot of cool things that you can actually learn on our academy. Like one is you can just go get an aquarium air pump, put a hose on it, put a little bob on the other side, drop it in, and it creates oxygen and it kills the bacteria. Is that crazy? Something so simple can actually solve your problems. So if you go onto our academy, academy.titansofcnc.com, go under fundamentals, look for coolant 101 you can learn all about coolant you can learn the good the bad the ugly and you can learn how to keep your machine clean and you can learn how to actually run great coolant so no more sores nothing on your arms and all that now as far as synergy 735 years later i still run it in every single video we are running like on the mills and lays every single video i absolutely love that coolant another thing i'll say is synergy is a synthetic but it is a special synthetic that they actually came in that does not harm your machine and allows you to like run bacteria free 
like there's no bacteria in it at all so all of those smells all of that is gone it does nothing to your skin does nothing to my skin it's like water and when i'm running a crazy part and i gotta put coolant on it and even filming i can see everything i can see my part get machined it's not a bunch of white milk splashing all over it that's why i get behind synergy 735 from blazer it's because i've been through all of it i've seen all of it and now this coolant i absolutely believe in i love this coolant and i stand by it and i hope you guys have a great day if you got coolant stories please put it down in the comments let's hear them i don't know if you can beat urine in the tanks but maybe you can all right you guys have a great day keep those coolant sumps clean don't dump in the sump